the L44 Blaster, as used by Han Solo. I have one here. This is a Nerf Blaster. And as always with Nerf Blasters, they are pretty colours, not quite screen accurate, but with a bit of paint and cosmetics done to it, we can make it cosplay or display. So, let's get into this. Hey guys, welcome to the Imperial Outpost. And uh, as always, it's good to have you along. So this DL44 Nerf Blaster, I picked up at a local car boot sale. Uh, I believe it was round about uh, two pound, possibly. Um, anyway, really, really dead, dead cheap. But I thought, yep, this can go as part of my Star Wars display, or you could use it as cosplay. But it's in need of a makeover, as I said in the introduction. So we're gonna need to take off the right in here and on the back there. On the end here, as you can see, it's uh, got holes that are blanked, okay? So they are gonna need to be drilled out to make it look more accurate. But what I've got to do with this, I'm going to take this apart because here, that's where you put the Nerf blasters in. I'm, I need to get under here where this slides back and forth. So the best way I can do that is to remove the top and uh, do it separately, which is a case of undoing some screws around here. Carefully make a note of uh, where the parts are and take it apart. So, let's uh, make a start by drilling the holes out on the end there. Okay guys, so obviously you're gonna need yourself a drill and a drill bit, make sure that's the right size. And as we're all aware, safety is number one priority. So whenever you're drilling, make sure your trailing hand is a clear of the working part because if you slip with that, go into your hand, you can cause yourself serious injury. I'll get on drill this out, and uh, I'll see you in a minute. So, uh, talk amongst yourselves. Right then, that's the holes drilled out in the end, and as you can see, looks a lot better than uh, when we started, which is nice. I will need to give all that a rub down in there, smooth it out, but, uh, that's the drilling done. So I think what we do next is get this gun apart because as I say, I wanna take this part off. So uh, let's uh, break it down and have a look. Screw there, push it back a bit, and screw there. Okay, now we've got it apart. Next thing needed to do is to rub down. And first off, we need to get rid of all the right in on the body and on the slide just there. Now for this um, I find a nail file. This is quite a coarse nail file. It's uh, 120 stroke 240 
and I think it works really well. So uh, let's uh, let's start with that. Okay, I'm gonna get on with that and uh, we'll come back when uh, I've got rid of the writing. So uh, talk amongst yourselves. Okay, so that's the writing gone. So now what we're gonna need to do is to give all the parts a complete rub down with 400 grit sandpaper wet wet and dry uh, basically what we're doing is just giving the um, item um, a surface for the uh, paint to uh, grip onto uh, and that that includes the handles as well okay so uh, yeah let's uh, let's uh, crack on Okay, that's all the parts rubbed over with the wet and dry. So uh, next stage is to spray. So basically I'll put a undercoat of grey on all these. I uh, may need two coats, not sure. I'll do one coat to start with. And then um, the next coat will be a coat of uh, matte black. Okay, and here is the paint that I will be using. Grey primer, matte black and a metallic silver which will be for the end of the blaster. Okay, so uh, let's get spraying. Okay, so that's the uh, grey primer done. So uh, wait for that to dry and uh, go on to the top coat. Okay guys, so that's the main body of the gun all sprayed up. Very pleased with the way this has turned out, especially this part here um, with the holes drilled out makes it look even more realistic. So I'm very, very pleased with, with that. The paints adhered to the gun very well. So yeah, very pleased with that. It's not quite finished. We have some weathering to do on the body of the gun. But before we do that, the handle parts here, which go on to there, gonna need to make them look like wood. So for that, I'm gonna be using burnt sienna and burnt umber. So maybe one or the other or a combination i'm not sure yet but uh we're we make a start and see how how it turns out so uh let's uh 
Let's crack on. Okay guys, that's the wooden grips done and I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. I just used one of the acrylic paints and that was the burnt umber. And it's uh, done a really nice effect there. That was a few coats, but yeah, really happy with that. So, almost complete. All that's left to do now is to add the weathering. So uh, I'll show you um, what we're gonna use. Okay, for the weathering, I'm gonna be using this, which is gunmetal gray from Vallejo. I think that's how you pronounce it, Vallejo. You can uh, get this off of uh, Amazon. Um, and it brings a really nice uh, effect. So we're going to be using the dry brush effect, which you put a little bit on your palette. Okay, put the excess off. And then with the dry brush effect, you just get a bit on your on your brush. Okay, get the excess off, and then all it is is just dabbing it on parts that are prone to wear. So there we are everyone, the DL44 Blaster, cosplay or display, and I'm sure you'll agree that this is a weapon fit for any rebel smuggler. <laughs>